Hello everyone and welcome back to more Rayman 2 The Great Escape for the N64. Last episode we took on Beneath the Century of Rock and Lava. Uh, took on Felch, probably not how you pronounce it, and gonna mask. This episode we're gonna be going on to the Tomb of the Ancients, which is probably the most scariest part of the game. In fact, in games perhaps. You'll see what I mean. Let's just jump straight into this one, as per usual. What the? Who are somewhere in the sky? The pirate prison ship slaves now on board. Forty-five thousand two hundred sixty-three. That is impossible on a thing like that. I'm sorry. Now what? He, he's found the third mast. Oh God. What? But that's not possible. <laughs> I love how he dangles. <laughs> it's pretty funny. If if he finds that fourth one, I'll be coming for you. Oh dear, how threatening. Now we're in probably one of the most unsettling places in any kid game ever. The Tomb of the Ancients. It's full of the dead, it's full of creepy music, it's full of a spider, it's full of probably every nightmare you can think of, especially in a Rayman game as well. And here's one thing I've got to talk about first of all in this area. The music that you're hearing right now is creepy. I'll admit. Like, on the N64, it has a creepy vibe to it, it sounds a bit unsettling. But, then, listen to the other version, and by that I mean like the PC versions that have the different soundtrack and things. It is freaky as hell. Clark was captured here before being brought to the technical checkup. Oh no, my buddy! He appears to be captured. Because I swear that's goddamn blood. Look at it! Look at it! It's goddamn blood! I swear! And plus his bones and... Ugh. God, there's like ribs and yeah, this is this is from a blooming E-rated game. <laughs> that is grisly stuff, man. That is really grisly stuff. Oh wow, okay, I did not mean to do that, but the other versions of the music sound like freaking hell. Just listen to them and you'll see what I mean. Catacorus put it in one of his top ten scariest songs ever, to be honest. And I can see why. Because unfortunately I played on this level on my 3DS for the first time. At midnight! Jesus Christ, okay, bloody hell. <laughs> I did not even see that thing coming, Jesus! I did not realise he literally jumps at you, freaking... <laughs> this is just proof of how scary this area is, man. At least I come down there. Usually, he does not do that. It's usually, when I get uh, here, he jumps. But I was literally right freaking here, and he jumped right in my goddamn face. Stupid spider. <laughs> At least he got him down nice and easy, because in case you run away, he's actually usually up there, sitting right on that goddamn pillar. I say goddamn a lot for some reason, but I don't know why. I don't get though why the spider music is still carrying on. Still, what the- wow, you can actually get uh, hurt by the souls. That makes sense. Not. This place though is pretty uncertain, because like I said, the first time I played this was on my 3DS my headphones on at like 10 o'clock at night in pitch black. <laughs> oh boy, it was embarrassing. Well, no, not embarrassing, it was scary. I literally had trouble sleeping after going to this area, I tell you. Especially that spider segment. I literally, I'm not even I literally shut the game off the moment that spider jumped and the music came on. It was terrifying, to be honest. One of my biggest memories of Rayman 3D in this area. At least it's Rayman 2 in general. In fact, I'm so relieved that I did not beat this game as a kid. Because imagine my, my reaction to this place. I would have been scarred for life if I ever got here. For some reason, the spiders always come out. Plus, oh god, there's a, there's a dead river pirate there. <laughs> Does a spider look up? Uh, look like up close? Let's have a look. Shall we, yay? I apologize for those of you who have arachnophobia. Yeah, he's okay. He looks a bit. <laughs> looks kind of funny actually when you get up close to him. He looks much more threatening though when you run away from him. Also, he's a spider. There's a whip. Why the hell does he not climb up it? it? Makes no sense in the world. I mean, wouldn't it be more scary and threatening if he climbed up it? But no, he, he just kind of just stands there and just continues trying to hit you for some reason. I don't know why, but still. And probably because he knew I was going to fall off. <laughs> oh well. I swear though, that's blood, and that is rather unsettling. I've just noticed that. 
I mean, I may have said it, but I didn't know it was here, given the fact that there's bones as well. <laughs> what a morbid place to be in a game like Rayman. And you think that's the only spider in the level? Well, guess what? You'd be wrong. Because there's no one up there, as you can see. And I don't know about you, but the first time I got to this level, even though I was freaked out by the music of things, I was actually really happy <laughs> when I came across the robot pirate. Because um, the music changes and it sounds a lot more calm and less threatening. It made me feel safe. Ah, I cannot unsee the blood textures. Good God. <laughs> that is going to be the title of... Uh, oops. Mr. Spider, you have killed me. By just jumping back and forth like a lunatic. <laughs> well done. I take my hat off to you, Spider, even though you probably wouldn't fit in it. <laughs> Never mind. Um, actually, wait, can I just hurt you from here? Because I believe I can. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. In that case, this is going to be a whole lot more easier. Just spam against the spider and then kill him. Okay, fine. Um, okay. Uh, you're just going to stand there and make it even more easier for me. In that case, if you're really going to do that, if you're being so kind, take a nice old shot to the face with a powerful shot, eh? Oh my god, there's a pirate ship. <laughs> I never knew that. How observant I am. I focus on the enemies and the items, but never the surrounding. That is how much of a skilled gamer I am. Anywho. There's the acid. And we're actually going to come across something a bit later that's pretty freaking cool, but at the same time confusing. Probably showed off a bit of the beta development of this, and uh, you'll see what I mean later. Can I rotate the camera? I don't get why you can't rotate it there, but you can when you get down. That makes no sense. I'm trying to avoid the blood textures because now I just realised how wrong and disturbing this place really is. God. I'm a grown-up as well. <laughs> Even I can be freaked out by things like this. Also, we're about to meet somebody come back from the dead, which is... A pirate! <laughs> that just jumps out of the coffin. That seems really cool. <laughs> but, unfortunately, I'm going to put him back to his death. He died twice, poor guy. And it appears his corpse went with him for some reason. Oh well. What the? What the? What? Razorbeard. That, 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 that looks like Razorbeard. Did somebody kill Razorbeard? Or is this maybe one of Razorbeard's relatives? I don't know, it's made of wood. <laughs> maybe it was a model, it's like, throw it away. Kill it. And they literally just thought he meant kill it. So they just, okay, <laughs> let's put it in the coffin. Is that all of them? Yay, it is. Sorry about that, I thought I heard something, but oh god, I just realised something. I've just literally looked outside and it is daylight. Why am I playing this in daylight? I should be playing this at night in pitch black. How awesome would that be, eh? Especially with headphones on. Just reliving my fears of this place just in the right way, not in broad daylight. <laughs> suppose that makes me feel more safe, though. Because I don't know. Is that all the switches, though? And stop getting hurt by the souls. Plus, wow, look at these... What? Hey, these look cool. Are these like models that were eventually scrapped? It looks like it. I think this place actually holds a lot of beta development from the game. Because, um, you know, just some places I think, hmm, that looks like an enemy that is used, and that looks like an area that will be used and things, you know? And I believe we can cross the lava, I think. I don't know, I couldn't really tell because I couldn't hear the jingle because I was talking over it. You know, like, Because I really love that jingle. I swear, somebody should make that as like a text message jingle. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Oh boy. But, um... Oh, wait, no, this isn't slime! This isn't slime! Look at the texture! This is freaking souls! How morbid is this place? God damn it! And I'm doing a let's play of this game. Thinking I have all the knowledge, only to realise that this place is more blimmin' f***ed up than I thought. God. <laughs> oh boy. Also, I love the moon. Look at the moon. So pretty. When it comes to existence. <laughs> With a really oddly textured cloud. Uh, this just looks really nice, if you ask me. Makes me feel a bit more safe, especially with the music. But we're actually gonna come across something which is actually slightly, um, doesn't really make a lot of sense, but you'll see. So what it is, 
is there's this secret around here, believe it or not, where if you fly down, and you go across here, you actually come across this secret room. Which will lead to something that is actually quite a bit of a gaming mystery at the moment, because nobody knows why this room exists. Personally, I think this area was going to be originally included, but they chose to scrap it for some unknown reason. Because, I mean, look, there's pirates and everything. And honestly, this place is actually quite the challenge first time. Because we're going to come across something which you, uh, some of you may know, called the 1000 Flum. So we know sometime in the game that Razorbeard did eat the um, 1000 Flum because, you know, he ate one of them, which caused the uh, counter to drop down to 999. But apparently it is possible to find the 1000 Flum, which is in this area here, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Because after defeating uh, these pirates, we get these platforms that we have to go on. And after defeating a set of them, it will then uh, lead us to this web where we bounce up and get it. You you'll see what I mean in a minute, so let me just uh, destroy these guys first. <coughs> okay, there we go. So as you can see, after defeating all those lums, uh, for some reason spiders infest it, which is even more disturbing. But you'll see that there's just this tiny little lum up there. Let's go collect it and see what happens, shall we? Oh, oddly enough, before I do that, in the 3DS version, this level does exist, but for some reason they forgot to animate the uh, the web bouncing. <laughs> when you jump onto it, you just stay onto there. So the only way to actually properly get it is to get hit by one of the spiders. If you destroy them, you're screwed. Yeah, for some reason it causes like this weird jingle to happen. I don't know why, but it just does. Anywho, so uh, where's we going now? Oh yeah, we're going across here. But yeah, it's a bit of a weird gaming mystery. Nobody knows why there's a jingle. Nobody knows why there's a 1000 lum there as a whole. And honestly, it's not important. You don't need the lum to get like 100% or anything because it does nothing to it. It's just an extra bit of content that does nothing, but it's just fun to find out, I suppose. Maybe they just forgot to get rid of it or something. I don't know, it's, it's a lot of theories behind it. <clears throat> right. So now we are just sailing. Okay, maybe not sailing, because we're not on a goddamn boat, but still. We're on a slime, even though this isn't... Is this slime? Let me check again. It looks like slime. I hope it's slime because of its souls, and that's disturbing. And plus, oh boy, uh, robot pirate. And also, there is a weird layout in this level that I honestly <laughs> find extremely... Okay, fine, boundary of rule walls will work against uh, pirates for some reason. But the layout in this area is you're actually given two uh, places to go. And if you choose one of them, it just skips you the whole entire part of the level where you miss a ton <laughs> of yellow lums, which really sucks. And the sad thing is, I can't remember which order, so there may be a chance that I will have to do re uh, redo this area. But we'll find out in a minute, surely, eh? So I can't really tell where the hell that laser is in 3D space. I don't know about you. Any hurch? Yeah, it's around here somewhere, I believe. Because we can use the barrel to fly around with things, but... Um, there's a particular way that you have to go. Oh, goodness, we're here now, actually. Okay, so I don't know which way to go exactly. I think it could be down here or up, to be honest. Um, let me think about it. Oh, wait. To be honest, I'm not too sure. Give me a moment to think about it, will you? Okay, now I remember, and believe me, this is goddamn evil. So what you're meant to do, is it looks like you're actually meant to go in that hole, but first of all, let me just take out this guy real quick. Because, um, I've just remembered, I thought, God damn it, Blimmin, how do I do this again? Because I do not really want to go through... That is too risky, I don't want to do that. Because I do not really want to go through the whole level again just to get one thing. But the funny thing is, you actually have to get... Whoa! Okay, fine, that worked, whatever. <laughs> Actually, 
Wow, that's actually saved a lot of time. God damn. Wow. But, uh, let me check. Are there any... Looney, uh, alums that I have to get around here at all? I don't think there is. Nope, we're okay. But what you're actually meant to do is after getting that cage, is go back to this bit, get the barrel, and then go to the top. I know a lot of people that have probably just ignored it and gone to the top because of all, oh look, a secret place, that probably leads to more stuff. Yes it does, but there is that one cage right there, to be honest, and wow, what a good freeze frame that is. Which leads us right here. If you go to the other bit, if you go down and go through the bit where I was trying to get, you know, the red lum, you know, through the passageway or something. Um, that will not work. Because that way, you will literally just be led pretty much straight to the boss. So you don't really want to do that. Also, I re really like to get those golden fists, if possible, maybe. Okay, it is actually pretty hard to turn that thing around. I might give this another try, though, because golden fists are really helpful. There we go. And it looks like it's about to blow up. That's what it's going to do. Turn it around now. There we go. Okay, right now, can I quickly go get the golden fists? I can, and we good. We got the golden fists. Nice. I was desperate to get those, because I thought, why not, eh? It's golden fists. You can't go wrong with golden fists now, can you? I s swear there is a secret up here as well. Yeah, looks like it, because there's a whole bunch of red lambs here, and... Oh, actually, yeah, that's what he needed it for. Fair enough, cool. Well, I, mean, I, I don't really remember a lot from this level, which is a shame, really. As this is one of the most confusing levels, if you ask me. Which is a shame, because it's also very creepy, so that doesn't help at all. Now, uh, where are we going from here? I believe we're going that way, yep. It looks like it. At least I hope it is, anyway. Can I actually just go get that, uh cage down there please because that would be very nice and I think that's everything in this area oh wait no I don't expect you to go down like this no mind <laughs> I thought for a second there you had to kill yourself in order to get it otherwise I'd been like well that getting that golden fist was a bit of a waste of time wasn't it hey eh? also wow zombie pirate right there zombie pirate no blooming uh, robot pirate nah I always forget the names for some reason I believe that is everything in this area at least that's what I hope, anyway. <laughs> if it isn't, then it isn't, and I'll have to do it again. Which I don't really want to do, but never mind, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now progressing on wood, we are now going to come across, um... I don't know, what have we got over here? We've completely forgotten, to be honest. Hmm. Aha! Wait, we have one of those, which... Oh, great. Made me lose one of my golden fists, that's a shame. Never mind. But you know what I was saying about the soundtrack and all that? I suppose I could go more over more about it here. The N64 version sounds something that you'd pretty much hear in, like, you know, a creepy place in Spyro or something. Just something casual, you know? Something that doesn't really freak you out, but it does make you think, ooh, it's a bit creepy and unusual. But the other versions are pure hell, seriously. Also, I hear a cage. I hear a cage. Where is that cage? I do not care about you, all I care about is the cage. Which I believe on that, that one over there. I think. To be honest, I don't know. Oh, actually, wait, can I just jump onto it like this? What happened there? You, Rayman, you, you swung, but you swung too low. You clever clonks, you. Jump, swing. Why are you still doing that? There we go, that's what I wanted to do. It turns out you actually have to <laughs> use your propeller for some reason in order to get it. That does not make any sense, but never mind. It doesn't matter, because now we have the cage, which is what I want. That's good, so we have four out, of, uh, four out of six. That's not bad. Can I please get that before I die? Thank you. And, hmm. I don't think there's any more lums in this area, so... I guess we'll just continue on just doing this bit here, shall we? I like how they give you an alternative route, though. Like, if you chose to just go on the boat and that, you would just have to keep uh, destroying those zombie chickens and stuff in order to get by. But you can just use these swingy bits here in order to progress. In fact, oh wait, do you, can you actually just use that to get there anyway? If you can, then that's annoying. Never mind. Let's just progress on, shall we? 
further through the scariest level in the game. It's weird because, you know, the Cave of Bad Dreams was creepy. But it wasn't creepy to this extent. And also there's a spider here. Wow, well, thank you. We've come across like three of them now. <laughs> no wonder this place is creepy. But you know, the Cave of Bad Dreams, it was creepy, but not mega creepy where it made you literally just want to freak out and stuff. At least that's what I thought anyway. Because honestly, it's kind of creepy, but like I was saying, it doesn't really freak you out or anything. Whereas this place does, because it has three spiders, creepy music, Blood in the goddamn water. <laughs> what more can you possibly want to get more freaked out, eh? And I think that's everything in this area. It better be. Oh, actually, wait, you have to hit it like this, don't you? Yeah, you can. Whee! In we go to the hole. And this is what I mean by this, okay? If you went through the other door. See, look, 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 over there, yeah? Like, actually, what happens if I go straight through this one? Because I believe it's a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, see, it electrifies you instead. If you went through there, you would pop out of this place. And then, you know what happens there? You'd miss all those cages and all those lumps. And you'd have to do the whole level again. Like I say, it's a very weird layout in this level, but never mind. Also, yellow lump. I need it. I need it. I need it. Damn it. <laughs> also, I swear for, like, the, the green water, they just pretty much reused. <laughs> the same texture on like the blood, but just colorized it to green. If they did, then that's hilarious. But can I please not miss any yellow lumps? The boss in this area though, is very weird. And kind of slightly disturbing as well. God damn it, why am I missing these yellow lumps? I swear, literally I was touching that. Okay, cool, there we go. There's 40 out of 50, hopefully there should be 10 more. If there isn't, then I am a dumbass. And for some reason there is a pirate here, which is very annoying. <laughs> I don't know why they had to place him here of all places, but there you go. Funny thing though, you actually have to jump back and forth when he tries to hit you and things. Otherwise, uh, well, you fall into the, the slime, and guess what? You have to do the whole segment again. There are barely any checkpoints in this area, and that's kind of a bit of a problem if you ask me. <clears throat> but never mind. You get used to it in a while. I hear a cage. I really do hear a cage, and I want to get that cage. Why should I? Is this is this the part where we climb into the pirate ship? Because if it is, that's pretty cool. This is where the creepiness level goes down. Because I mean, look, here's your pirate cage with that. Oh god, that that guy. <laughs> Good god, you again. I don't like you, but I can easily take you down because I have an even stronger. Fist, I believe. Which you should be down. Oh wow, actually, I can use this to defend. Why did I not think of that before? Never mind. Now, here's another evil part, though. There's probably going to be a lot of complaining in this. Sorry. But, um, there's another evil part in this where if you go a certain way, where, like, if you use. Why'd you wait? I think it's in here. In here is the right way, yeah, because there's a, there's a cage right here. Which is the sick one, and there's the 50 lambs. Good god, that makes me so much better. Thank god for that. Bloody hell. But if you ignored that, look what happens. Usually you'd think, oh cool, there's like a bit over there. If we go up here, what happens? You climb to the top. And then you realise you don't have to go that way, but by the time you've jumped, oh no, it's too late. You've fallen in. Bye bye, have to do level again. <laughs> Like I say, I love the concept of this level, but good god is it a pain in the ass to get the blimmin' the lums and the cages first time. It's alright now, but you know, just the first time I'm like, what? So here's another unused beta development. There's a hole up there, I think. Yeah, there's a little hole up there and things. And in the Dreamcast version there's actually a box that you can jump on and venture into it. And you'll probably see like these weird models and unused stuff. That's actually from the beta development of the game. I don't know what it was for, but it's for something. Technical checkup. Oh boy. What could be in here? Let's have a look. Oh look, there's Clark! Raymond! Clark! I believe 
or not, yes, our best friend, Clark, Big Chin Troll Man, is um, <laughs> actually the boss. And how do you defeat him? This is actually pretty tricky first time. You actually have to hit this in order to get uh, an electric thing to come out. So that way when he walks past it... Um, oh yeah, hopefully he'll just fall down and then you can just hit him like this. Oh wow, he's actually going to do it again. <laughs> Bloody hell. Silly old Clark, aren't you, eh? Come on, this way. Ah, damn it. And when he grabs hold of you, he... Wow. <laughs> actually knocks you back quite far. I never noticed that till now, but never mind. Can I also activate that? Where's the switch? There we go. Also, I hate how he just falls straight onto you and things, but never mind. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted you to do, so that now I can just hit you like this continuously. Yeah, so the idea in that is mainly... Come on, you gonna charge? Damn it! The idea, though, is like... Mainly, he will charge forward, and you know, you gotta knock him over in order to hurt him and things. But, I don't know, sometimes he's just so silly he goes for it twice. I mean, like me, for some reason. Also, wow, bloody hell. <laughs> uh oh. Rayman! It's like the secret handshake. And there's the cage that doesn't really count as a cage, but whatever. It does. I also like how you use Clark for it as well. Either way, we've saved our buddy. That's awesome. And now let's just rescue uh, that. Is that the last cage? We have 77. We have three cages left, guys. Three cages. And we've done the whole goddamn game. Good god. That's insane. And then we're going to come up to the maximum health as well. So now let's just venture out of the disturbing area. <gasps> I had to ruin the moment, didn't it? <laughs> cool. Whatever. Thank goodness I got everything, though. Oh, boy. I do hate the collection for that level. And no, I am not doing that. They go on for far too long. My bad. <laughs> Don't save the game. That is a risky one. But I'm going to choose... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go for yes. I'm gonna go for yes. And risk it. I don't see why not. Because <clears throat> I do not actually want to go through that level again and just catching up from where I last got to. Well, that was fun. And a bit long, actually. My timer says 35 minutes so far. It's probably not that long. Probably around like 23 or something ridiculous, I guess. Because, you know, I was dawdling around thinking, should I go that way or should I go that way? Should I go that way or should I go that way? I guess I don't know. <laughs> In the next episode of Rayman 2 The Great Escape, we will be going through the Iron Mountains. Which is a level with mountains, and there's no iron in it for some reason. <laughs> Take care guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Rayman 2 The Great Escape, and I'll see you in the next one. We are coming up so close to the end of the game, and I can't believe it.